Hi everyone, Claire here from Pamela and Need. Thanks for joining us again for the third in this series on working from home. We hope you're all keeping safe and healthy and we hope you found the video so far useful. Hi everyone, Lucinda here. This week we're going to be looking at the neck and we're going to be showing you a couple of stretches and a couple of self-massage techniques to try and help alleviate the stress and tension that often builds up in the neck, especially when we've been working long hours at a desk. If we don't look at this and leave it unchecked, we can often end up with really chronic tension, which can be quite painful, and that can often lead to tension headaches and a real sort of build up of fatigue and all sorts of things. So it's really useful to try and release some of this tension. Start by gently tipping your left ear towards your left shoulder till you start to feel a stretch in the left side of your neck. To help with isolating the neck muscles, reach your right hand towards the floor or hold on to the right side of the chair. If you want to increase the intensity, you could use your hand to apply gentle pressure to the head. You can hold this stretch for 20 to 30 seconds and then repeat the same stretch on the opposite right side. This lateral stretch can be repeated two or three times on each side. Be mindful not to let your right shoulder rise up and really focus on stretching those neck muscles. The second stretch targets the sternocleidomastoid, which runs from your collarbone up to your jaw. Tension here is associated with having the head in a forward position, which can create jaw tension. To stretch, firstly bring your chin slightly forward and then rotate your head to look right. You'll feel the SEM become prominent. Then place your palms one over the other on the area just under the collarbone on your left side. Use the pressure of your hands to pull down as you look up in the opposite direction. Try holding it for 20 seconds and only go to the point of stretch, not discomfort. Repeat on the opposite side and again this can be done two or three times on both sides. We will now show you a couple of simple self-massage techniques. So if you have long hair, start by popping it up in a clip or a ponytail so it's out of the way. Make sure your head and neck are nice and relaxed so your chin isn't jutting forward but just gently tucked in. Then as Lucinda's showing, you clasp your hands at the back of your head and use your thumbs to identify the grooves at the base of the skull, about halfway between the ears and the vertebrae of the neck. Use your thumbs to circle and then slide the thumbs up into the hairline. So you have the sensation of almost lifting the head up and off the neck, creating some traction. Then circle the thumbs down towards the top of the shoulders, making sure that you're focusing on the muscles towards the back of the neck and not drifting too far to the side, as there are some arteries there which you don't want to put any pressure on. You can be pretty firm with this. When it's done, Relax your arms, shrug your shoulders, make sure the neck is still nice and relaxed and you can repeat this a couple of times. It's a really nice way to get the blood circulating into the muscles at the back of the neck which can become quite stiff when you're working at a desk for a long time. For the second technique, Place your fingers at the back of the neck as Lucinda's demonstrating and you'll identify the bony processes of the neck vertebrae. Move to just either side of these vertebrae and gently tilt your head forward whilst using your fingers to drag down towards the top of the shoulders. This is a really nice way to disperse some of the fascia that might build up whilst you're static at your desk for a long time. Again, you can be fairly firm with this, as much as feels comfortable for you, and you can repeat this two or three times. And do make sure to keep taking nice, deep, slow breaths whilst you're doing these self-massage techniques. We hope this has been helpful, and remember you can find all of these videos on our social media platforms, as well as more information about us on pummelandneed.co.uk. Thanks for watching, and stay safe.